All right, hello everybody. So uh, today I'm going to be recording a video while I ink this panel here from Johnny's Law. Uh, so this character is one that was um, set up uh, in a preview page that was put out uh, by Alex Garcia a little while back on Twitter. Um, so for this one, I used a little bit of reference. Um, I used uh, this this photo that I, that I found here, this gentleman, um, and uh, he matches the uh, look of, of the, the, the character that I had uh, done previously. So um, uh, some of you may know this gentleman's name is David Goggins. Um, so what I do is um, I don't, I just, a lot of times when I use reference, I just use it because I'm looking for a certain uh, position, certain structure of the head and that sort of thing. And I just draw it and straight it. Uh, throw some pencil lines down uh, and then kind of, you know, add all my accoutrements such as the, you know, costuming and that sort of thing. Uh, in this case, you know, he's got a shirt tie, uh, suspenders, a couple earrings here. Um, and then uh, I'll go in and uh, after I uh, <clears throat> pencil that on, I'll go ahead and uh, <clears throat> convert that over to a blue line digitally. So um, that being said, I'm just going to go ahead now. I'm going to start actually inking this piece. Um, I've got my layer set up for that. So I'm going to select my uh, real G pen. Uh, and I've got the anti-aliasing anti all the way up uh, as uh, uh, high as I can get. i got my stabilization here. I'm going to set it at about 20. All right. Um, <clears throat> And then um, I'm going to convert this inking layer to a vector layer. Um, <clears throat> all right, then I'm just going to go in and start inking. Right now, I've got my brush set at uh, 30. Um, and I'm probably going to go up as high as 40 on this. Um, <clears throat> and then now I'm going to go uh, and start inking uh, right on this. So for this style here that I'm uh, using, uh, I'm going with a more uh, uh, Mignola-esque style uh, where I'm just focusing not so much on the uh, line work but more on the uh, high contrast um, uh, style. I, I don't know. Uh, uh, um, if I've ever seen Mignola uh, implement this style outside of um, the types of uh, story that he use, uses this, his style in, which are more like darker, moodier um, type of characters. And so um, it's interesting to see how I can uh, pull this off in uh, the framework of an basically what is going to be an, an action adventure story. So um, yeah, we'll see how that how that rolls. This panel really shouldn't take that long to, uh, to ink, uh, especially uh, given uh, in the style that, that um, I'm inking in. Uh, there's not a lot of, not a lot of rendering and that sort of thing going on. Um, I like the uh, inking styles where it's a little bit rougher, um, a little bit higher contrasting. I think I've always been drawn to that. I don't know, may, is it me being lazy? Maybe because I don't want to do all that rendering? I don't know, I don't, I don't think so. Because I think on, on many other projects that I've done, I have uh, used um, uh, a lot of rendering and that sort of thing, uh, but you know, Whatever, maybe subconsciously, uh, that's what the situation is. I just don't want to admit it. But um, yeah, so this story is uh, um, set in the uh, uh, 1990s, okay? Uh, and um, this member here is a member of a. Uh, kind of like a crime family. Uh, I don't want to give the 
name away of that. But um, yeah, so that's that's the premise of it. So they're having a conversation with the uh, the series lead uh, on the series. So um, so he's kind of this gentleman is uh, kindly reminding our our uh, our lead, which I, I won't show that right now. Maybe maybe on another page or something like that. I'm trying to basically keep this down on the DL uh, as much as possible. Um, I don't think this gives away anything. So uh, that's why I'm letting you guys just kind of see my, um, my digital inking process here as I, as I work on, uh, on this. Um, I'm trying to focus on getting the 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 contour lines around the the figure down uh, before I go in and start doing a uh, uh, too much uh, rendering or shading uh, per se. Uh, and uh, like I said, yeah, just make sure I have all that on point. Uh, blocking in all the areas that I'm going to be putting in shadow, uh, especially on the face here. Um, you know, I want it to look as, as good as possible. Uh, so all that has to be tight, it has to be really tight. So. So here I'm just kind of I'm cutting in a little bit here um, with the um, the shapes that I, I want to go for. Um, I like that um, I like chiseling out uh, forms when when I'm making them, especially on the on the male. Um, I wouldn't chisel out obviously like this on a on a, on a female face because they're just the bone structure is a little differently. And then the model that I use for for this, the, the guy does. Uh, he has he's very fit and he's got a lot of uh, he's got a nice uh, chiseled look to his face. And the character that um, the um, that I designed for this is uh, also uh, that way. Uh, so as you can see here, I'm just kind of putting in his little um, goatee thing here. <laughs> and so, um, so obviously as, as, as you can probably tell, this uh, gentleman is an African-American uh, uh, character. And so, you know, it's important to um, understand uh, like the texturing of how um, their hair is uh, uh, African American uh, hair is and that sort of thing, so that you can kind of um, make sure you just get that get that down right. Um, it's very very important to kind of uh, research these things. Um, if you if you don't. Uh, you're not going to be able to add the, the variety to the um, the characters um, and when you're drawing them or inking them for that for that uh, matter. So yeah, so you know I'm I'm a penciler inker, so I, I do like all the art on it, but um, um, it's uh, let's see, I already got to change something. I'm kind of making this guy too happy. I don't want to do that. So. Uh, I want to turn this down just a little bit here. Um, yeah, so I, I ink myself. I think that um, now a lot of artists are doing that. They are inking themselves, which is uh, cool. You know, I'm when I first started out in uh, illustrating uh, comics and stuff, 
Um, I started off as an inker uh, before I went to be a penciler. Uh, and so I learned a lot of these things. So a lot of times when I, oh, that's too much rendering. Yeah, kill that. Um, I remember to keep these solid shapes in as much as possible and render as little as possible at the same time. Um, so I don't know if you can see my my brush here, what it's doing. Um, if you were to zoom in, see how it's a little bit rougher? So I've got the setting uh, down all the way, uh, the anti-aliasing down, because I kind of want that little bit rougher line. It makes it look like it's uh, you know uh, being done on paper. All right, so now I'm going to do the eyes here. Uh, one of one of the things about working is high contrasting style is uh, it's all about the uh, I got cutting in these shapes. Because you're not rendering that much. It's all in the contour. Mark it so I can ink it. Um, so this is pretty quick. See how I'm building out that, that form around the eyes, uh, which helps to pop it out a little bit. Yeah, sorry if I'm not talking as much as uh, you may want me to. Um, just kind of focus in here. So there are other artists that use this high contrasting style. I can think of um, guys like, um, um, or other, I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to discriminate, but artists like, um, um, like uh, Brian Stelfries uses this kind of minimal line, high contrasting style. Um, I want to say Ed Brubaker, maybe uh, not Ed Brubaker. Um, Sean Phillips, uh, a little bit. Uh, all, he has some rendering, but he, it's probably more, uh, you know, noir. Uh, it, it's a little bit more smoky. There's um, uh, Bilquis uh, Beverly. Uh, she does some rendering, but a lot of her art is is done in a high contrasting. Uh, mode uh, sorry <laughs> focusing here um, so yeah so artists like that um, obviously Mignola um, Fabio Moon um, Gabriel Ba, Gabriel Ba is another, actually probably more than Fabio Moon. Uh, 
his style is a little bit more, um, I would say, cartoony. Uh, but he uses this high contrasting uh, Mignola style. To a certain extent, also, um, uh, I would say, um, Duncan Figredo, but, um, you know, he, he's he got a, a certain look for his, his stuff. It's got a little bit of rendering too, but it's really amazing. Uh, big fan of his work. Big fan of, obviously, uh, Mignola. Um, I actually used this style quite a bit uh, when I was uh, illustrating the uh, Chango graphic novel, uh, which is done. It's just waiting for it to be colored. Um, so that was a, a, a nice challenge um, to, to be able to do that. Let me just drop this blue line here so I can fill that in here. <sighs> well, let's see. I'm going to make this eyebrow here a little bit more menacing. So I'm going to kind of tilt it a little bit. Bring it down. Do the same thing here. This is a nice thing about working digitally is that you can just edit on the fly, which is really awesome. Just tilt it, bring it down. So let me throw in Dramatic. So uh, I got my light source coming in, which is uh, which is uh, referencing uh, and actually adding uh, all the shadow here, so that it makes sense um, as a reference that you know this is where my light source is coming from. And that's it.
this first panel is inked. Thank you very much for uh, joining me while I ink this panel. Uh, please, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, uh, share the video, and um, yeah, uh, give me a follow. You can find me on uh, Instagram at the artist Cesar Feliciano, and also on Twitter at Cesar Feliciano. So uh, please follow me there. Um, so that's it for now. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment, uh, and um, I'll uh, also post a link in the uh, uh, YouTube uh, description there uh, for the sign up uh, for the pre campaign sign up for Johnny's Law, which uh, this panel is uh, from. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.